Earlier tonight, a Lutheran pastor in Whiteland is celebrating a victory over the U.S. government. Last month, they denied his passport application, writing that the photo he submitted did not show him in normal attire. But earlier today, the State Department issued an apology to Pastor Mark Powell, saying his photo is okay after all. RTV6 reporter Drew Smith is here with his interesting tale. Drew? Erica, like many people in the clergy, Mark Powell wears a collar, a clerical shirt every day. That is his normal attire, but somebody at the State, State Department didn't think so until he challenged him. This is the photo that Reverend Powell submitted in early September with his passport application. The post office in Franklin took the photo. I paid my uh, money for the, the photo, photograph and, and for the application and sent it along. But a few days later, I get a, a letter in the mail from the passport agency in Chicago saying that, um, that I am not wearing normal attire. And, uh, and I thought to myself, but I am wearing normal attire. So they denied his request, citing the State Department's regulation for normal attire. It didn't say anywhere on the, uh, on the application that this is not normal attire for someone who's a pastor or a priest. I thought about it, I prayed about it, and I, I called up the number that they had given me if I had any questions, because I did have some questions. But the passport agency person he talked to didn't help. The pastor did not wait for divine intervention. Instead, he called a lawyer, specifically the Liberty Institute, a nonprofit agency based in Texas. It says its mission is to defend and restore religious liberties in America. So Liberty sent this letter to the Chicago Passport Agency Wednesday, claiming they violated Reverend Powell's First Amendment rights. We have men and women that are in Afghanistan at this very moment dying for my right to be able to wear these clothes because they reflect my religious belief. And then this afternoon, he found out the passport agency admitted to making a mistake. His photo is now okay, and his passport is being processed. When he talked to his attorneys today, they said, We have never had the federal government move as quickly as they did. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, is it just because it's an election year? <laughs> Well, RTV6 made several calls and sent many emails to the State Department over the last 24 hours looking for answers, and we are glad to see the matter got resolved so quickly. So is Reverend Powell. He also hopes this is going to lead to a policy change so other members of the clergy don't have the same problem. Jenna? Drew, thank you.